Hi guys, today we'll be making a modern table lamp using Dollar Tree items. These were my inspirations, but before we get started, if you're watching from Facebook and you'd love to give me a thumbs up, please click the three dots on the top right corner of your mobile device and then select open in YouTube. And from there you can give me a thumbs up or you can subscribe or you can leave me a comment. I would love to hear from you guys. So today I'll be using two Dollar Tree bowls. It's two to a pack. And I'm just going to use this piece of leftover PVC. And the first thing I'll do is use my hot tool to make a hole big enough to fit my PVC pipe. And then I'll cut two pieces of foam board to hold my PVC in place. And then I'll just use the PVC to make a mark on the poster board so I can cut that area out so the PVC can slide right through it. And then I'm just going to use my hot glue to set those in place. And to add some weight to the base, I'll just add some rocks before I put the foam board on. So this piece of foam board is going to be the one that I use to make my shade. And I'm just finding the center of it so my shade will be level. Right here I was using some Mod Podge on the area before I spray paint it. But you don't need to do this part because we'll be covering that up. Next I'll be taking my chopping mats from the Dollar Tree. It's two to a pack. And I'll just mark where I want my foam board to be. So it's 11 inches and I don't want my foam board to fall directly in the center. So I'll be separating it into 5 inches and 6 on one side. And I want it to be straight so I'm just marking the lines before I glue my foam board in place. Thank you. 
so I ended up with a little piece hanging over so I'm guessing a 9 inch disc would be perfect I originally planned on using roses but I switched in the middle of it so I'll be using crepe paper so I'm just folding it about eight times or so and then I cut tassels And I'll be using my Mod Podge to glue these in place. And it's best to keep them as straight as possible as you work your way up so you don't have to lift up the edges to place the rest of them. And I'm just using my blow dryer to fluff it out a little. And then I'll trim the edges. So I spray painted my base with this gold metallic spray paint. And then to finish off the edges of the shade, I'm just going to add the crepe paper on the inside and let the tassels hang over. And then I'm just going to use a little bit of my Mod Podge to brush it down so it can stay in place. The Dollar Tree sells push lights, but I'll be using these ones that I have with the remote. And I'll be using four of them, two on the bottom and two on the top. So I'll be covering up this foam board that I have on the top so I can hide those edges. And I'll be using this glitter paper that I found at the Dollar Tree. It's three in a pack.
and I'm using school glue to hold it in place. And then to cover up that little raw edge, I'm just going to use my flower blink strip and go around with one row. So remember we already found the center of our foam board so that's where I'm placing the glue and then I'll just glue it on top of the frame and then after I set my shade on top then I use my level to make sure that it's straight and here's the final result I hope you guys like it please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you do in the center where I place the foam board you can see a darker area ring going around right there but if you use something clear maybe a clear plate or anything that's clear then you won't have that shadow please subscribe I would love for you to come back next week and I also have a lot of good tutorials on my channel please check them out you can click the link on the screen to continue watching <music>